Hey Python enthusiasts! Welcome back to the 100 Days of Python series. Today is day 49, and we're continuing our journey into Natural Language Processing, or NLP. In this second part, we'll dive into two powerful libraries, NLTK and Spacey, and explore named entity recognition and sentiment analysis. Let's get started! NLP involves various tasks and techniques, and libraries like NLTK and Spacey make these tasks much easier. NLTK is great for teaching and research, while Spacey is designed for production use and is known for its speed. Let's start by installing and importing these libraries. With the libraries installed and models loaded, we're ready to explore Named Entity Recognition, or NER. Named Entity Recognition, or NER, identifies proper names of people, organizations, locations, and other entities in text. This helps in extracting valuable information from large text corpora. Let's see how NLTK and Spacey handle NER. Example code, Spacey. As you can see, Spacey provides a more straightforward and production-ready approach to NER. Sentiment analysis determines the sentiment or emotion behind a piece of text, like positive, negative, or neutral. It's widely used in analyzing reviews, social media, and customer feedback. Let's perform sentiment analysis using NLTK's VEDA Sentiment Analyzer. That's how we can quickly analyze the sentiment of text using NLTK. You can see how it breaks down the sentiment into negative, neutral, positive, and compound scores. That's a wrap for day 49 of our 100 Days of Python series. Today, we explored powerful NLP libraries NLTK and Spacey, and dived into named entity recognition and sentiment analysis. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for more awesome Python content. See you tomorrow for day 50. Keep coding and happy learning!